and welcome to episode 5 of me trying to play all the 356 communes of Norway perfectly. Today we are moving down the southwest coast of Norway to the commune of Sturd. Now this commune consists of the southeastern half of the island of Sturd plus the neighboring island of Huglu and some minor uh, the islands to the south. There's also a fairly substantial urban area here, so for the first time we might see some more, well, cityscapes or townscapes of Norway rather than the rural roads that we have mostly seen so far. I have driven through Sturd once, and that was like six years ago, so I will not pretend that I know the area well, but it's a fairly small commune in terms of size, so it should be possible to get a perfect score here, hopefully. So, without much further ado, let's head to Sturt. play this and we find ourselves ah this actually looks familiar I think we are on the E39 through Sturd as a road time to Viken is and I was I was hoping we wouldn't see too much of the E39 because it will be tough to find the right positions in. So we might find ourselves having to... Actually, this is not the E39, it's the 545. Okay. Well, that could make things easier. Even though it's still a fairly substantial road. So let's see. So we saw the sign to Vikanes, which is down here, which puts us on this crossroads. Now that means that we are somewhere on this bend. Now the next question is we cannot see any buildings. We cannot see any of the houses here because of this piece of rock. So that means we are going to be counting. Fortunately, the bend is not very long. That might make things easier. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's when the road is straight again. Actually, when I think about it, I think I might count between these two roads instead. That's a little safer. Let's see, we just need to find that road up here. Here we are. So that's in the middle. Yeah, I think we're going to do that instead. So, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. 11 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we'll call that 12. 11 and 12, right. So we are, let's do what I usually do, try to put the roads that I'm working with at oh, wait a minute I need to work on the right roads that's even now I can't scale it down that much so 
and if I do my so, that's too much of zoom, so place it like so. Okay. So then we try to find the middle, which should be. Let's see. The middle should be about here. And that, of course, if we had 11 and 12, we got 23, and the middle of 23 is 11 and a half. And uh, <laughs> uh, this is going to be, oh, let's see. 20 meters away. That works. Right. Ah, and now we are in, well, at least a residential area. And now we need to figure out where this residential area is. Is it in the town of Leidvik or is it somewhere else? Okay. Looks like we might now we're going uphill. Uphill usually means that you're not on your way to a main road. But I could of course be wrong. Now this one splits here. This does not look like the route to a main road. We are probably out. Well, wait a minute. We're just actually going downhill. Let's try it even so. No, this. <laughs> nope, that did not work. Oh, building yourself a new. Veranda slash porch, grads. And if I go down this way, uh, yeah, this might be promising. What's the name of this road, by the way? I should have should have checked. Ah, uh, negligence. But I might find it out eventually. Oh no. Hmm. Let's go back to where we started. So, let's try to go this way instead. So, let's see. Yeah, so they only got the numbers. So, the name of the... Oh, all these houses in the area have the same street. Ah, oh, here we go. And what is the name? Nies Hadlen. <laughs> right. And this is Sätravikvägen. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking straight north into a lot of habitation. So we could possibly be down here. Let's see. Sätravikvägen, Skrivarvägen, Stuhdalsmyro, Hadlebrekko, Stuhdalen. Bjellandsvägen. Now nah, we'll have to look a little further. Let's see, there's a crossroads up here. Oh, this is even a roundabout. Okay. Hmm, a very minor roundabout, but still one. Mm -mm. No, that's not the way to go. So this was Nes Hadlana, and this was Sadravikvägen. So, Mountain Farm Bay Road. And, well, this is looking to be, oh, I think we're coming up on another crossroads here. That might be a little more substantial. And, yeah, definitely. Let's see, where are we going here? To Kjödnalio Skule and Kjödnalio Barnehage, i.e. school and daycare. Kjödnalio, okay. And what does it say on this road sign here? This is Sätrevik and Kjödnalio, okay. And that is facing southwest. And, oh, which road is this? Is this a 545 again? Yes, it is. So the 545, are we done here? No, copy. We could actually be over here, couldn't we? Mm, oh, Shednalil. Here we go. Um, here we got Sätravikvägen. 
good. And then we got Nes Hudlen. So somewhere up here. Let's see. Oh, this is a fairly. Let's see. So Nes Hudlen all the way up here. And I'm wondering if we might have been here about. Let's have, let's have a look. Let's have a look. No, that doesn't. Oh, well, actually, that could well be. We have this building here with these ha all these houses attached to each other. I see four units, but the map says five. One. And there's a house over there. Some houses up the hill. There's a house over there, but no. Well, two house. No, this is this isn't the spot, is it? Hmm. It says playgrounds. I don't see any. Well, there is a playground here. Hmm. Well, there should be a tiny building in front of. Well, that must be that. Right. And we are on this crossroads. Okay, let's have a look. So if I'm looking directly to the west, I'm looking just past Just past the back corner of this house, which should then be that house, which means I should be placed. Um, I should be placed about here, but that does not match. Wait. I'm not in the starting position, that's what's wrong. Let's see, one more time. If I look directly west, I'm looking straight onto this tiny building. So, and I'm looking at it at that angle, yes. So, that means there. But I'm also looking, oh, of course, the fifth unit is the garage. So if I'm looking directly south, then I'm looking at the cross, at the junction over there. Let's see. So that means I am there. Let's go for that. Ah, five meters away. Excellent. Okay. And we are on another crossroads. And this time we are on the E39, or at least close to it. And I do recognize these signs from my man when I drove through here. So 1.6 to Haga, 1.7 to Odlan, and then to the Hög School, which is a college they got in town. And the industrial area of Aslax Vicho. Oh, Vicho. Well, let's see. So we could be here. Yes, this is this Odlands Vegan. The road to Odland. So we're most likely here. Trouble is, we don't have any features to go by here. We have. We have this little traffic island that's just painted on the road. But beyond that, not a whole lot of features. Um, let's see if. So the road curves a bit like so, and then it curves the other way. And, uh, hmm. So if I look directly west again, 
think I'm looking pretty much at the end of that traffic island now, aren't I? Let's have a look through the trees. No, it extends actually quite a lot further than that. So, I would say that we're probably about here. But this could be a miss by several meters. Hmm. It's obvious that the scale here is... is quite small, but it sort of seemed to be closer to the crossroads than to the bend. Not by much, but slightly. So, I'm not entirely comfortable with this. But I think that's the best I can do right now. 10 meters away. Okay, good. Fourth position. Okay, so now we have, let's see, we see some islands to the east. So we are, we could well be, yeah, we could actually well be all the way up here. Because we do see a road on the other side here. And then a little promontory, which could be that. Which means that we, if this is right, then we are just north of this ferry pier. And we could be, uh, we, should, we should be around here then. Let's see if I look there, uh, quite due east. And we're looking at, now we're looking at sort of so. There should be, in this area, there should be a couple of roads off to the side. Wasn't there one? Yes, there's this place here. With the bus stop. Is there a name of this bus stop? Most times they don't put the names on, on these bus stop shelters in Norway. Some some traffic companies, uh, transportation companies, uh, will put names on them, and others are like, well, anyone who would be, would be bothered to take the bus from here knows where they are. So, but I am fairly convinced we are here. Okay, and then the quest, of course, starts for finding how to proper wear. Now let's see, yes, let's say road going down there, which is going, to, going underneath the road to come up on the other side. And yeah, that's the other bus stop. Yeah, we're definitely here. Let's see, so, right, houses or landmarks. So when I'm looking up the hill, I'm looking directly west. Must be that house, right? Can't be that one because it has. Let's remove the map. Well, <laughs> so this house is all a flat front towards the road, while that house has bits that poke out, which would match that house up there. And there's another house up there. Which is, oh yeah, that's probably that one. So um, I guess we cannot see this one. Yeah. Yeah, quite comfortable with that. So we are on this side of the road. And now the question is, where are we looking at that house? So it seems to be a joint building that's been joined up. So let's go for the middle of the house. No, actually, so that cannot be too far away. Right? We aren't, at least we aren't 20 meters away from there, and we aren't 20 meters away from there. 
five meters away. Ha. Right. Then we go for the final location. Ooh. Okay. So, by a lake. With some rocks thrown in for attractiveness. So, I guess that means where I'm facing, facing the east. Could be somewhere up here, possibly. Or we could be here. Nah, probably not. Okay, this could get a little interesting. So, and the road is going south. South, southeast, with a lake on the side. Could it be all the way up here? That looks like an option. I mean, there's, there's this bit of rock there. And there's this bit of rock there. And we have this bit of rock jutting out into the lake there. Um, and if I look directly east now, I'm looking at the... north end of that little thing. I am fairly certain this is where I am. It's not like I have any any major reasons except from what my eyes are telling me. So, but it feels right, it looks right. And maybe it is right, but I kind of want to have my marker placed on the road. Thank you very much. Let's put it there. And now let's see. Am I right? Four meters away. Ha! Huh. That took all of 20 minutes, and we have played stood perfectly. Wow. How about that? Well, I hope you found this playthrough of Stood interesting, and in the next episode we'll move up the coast a bit again. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.